Hi everyone, welcome back to another match day vlog and I'm finally back in the city of Gliwice. Uh Haven't been here for a while, should have an interesting top half of the table battle between Piazza Gliwice and Jagiellonia Białystok. Defending champions, Jaga did have a difficult period of like five games where they got absolutely farmed by everyone. But it looks like they're slowly getting back into form by winning their last two games. Uh, but today will be a difficult match because Piazza Gliwice is undefeated at home since early March, where they lost against Rado. Bus full of Piaz fans. Uh, it sounds like the atmosphere is very good there. Currently, Yaga is in fourth place, and with a win, they can join the championship battle again. Piast is only three points behind, so for them, a win could mean some crazy adventure. But this season, they're starting also very well uh, with some impressive away wins against Legia and Rakov. But yeah, let's get to the stadium. So the sausage was 20 zlotys. Uh, this is a big sausage, but they break it in two and put it in the bun. It meant that the top sausage was cold. Uh, because the bottom one was warm and it was tasting nicer. I'm gonna give it a six. Stupid sexy Osa. Nothing at all! Nothing at all! <laughs> Stupid sexy Flanders! One of those extra cluster games again. Yaga scoring with their only shot at goal. Piaz had a massive opportunity in the first 10 minutes. Uh, basically, almost for open goal. But it seems there's always a Yaga player in the way of their shots. But for the rest, the game is not that special. Uh, Piaz is keeping it very close, very uh, compact. Yaga's trying to get around it, get through it. Hopefully, the second half will be much more entertaining.
would say a very calculated win for Jaga, but it didn't play well. I think they only were able to create chances on mistakes from Piast. Piast was very compact, uh, very organized, but that's how Vukovic plays his football. The problem is, just like last year, is when you go, go down and you have to chase it, it looks to me that Piast is not even training on that. They were so possession focused. When the ball hit uh, the wings, they would pass it back to the fullbacks. It wouldn't surprise me if Czerwinski had the most ball contacts of the entire match. Uh, next match is away again against Pogon's Czechin, who are very good at home. But with this win, Jaga is now in second place. Three wins in a row, of which two with a clean sheet. So that's an improvement from one and a half months ago. Next weekend, they will play against Legia at home. Uh, but in between, there's the difficult away game in the Conference League against Copenhagen. Originally, I was planning to go next weekend to the match against Legia, uh, but it's on a Sunday night and I don't want to take a day off on Monday just for traveling back. But I have something else scheduled now for that weekend. One is the Derby in the lower leagues and the other is on Sunday in the new city for me personally. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. Uh, October, November is going to be two busy months. Lots of derbies coming up, so please like and subscribe. You know what to do and we'll see each other next weekend. Bubble up.